Hey there guys, it's Lee here for iMind Blocks. Welcome back to another video of mine. In this one I'm going to be sharing with you um, what I use to work out which is the most uh, profitable coins to mine using your uh, CPU or your graphics card. So let's uh, jump right into it. So I'm going to be on the screen um, just to my left here, which is um, a Windows uh, 10 machine, and this is one I'm just going to be demonstrating this on. So the first thing that we need to work out is our hash rate of our card for each algorithm. Now your graphics card and CPU are capable of mining lots of different algorithms, so you want to kind of um, like a big list of the various um, algorithms that you can mine, and also the rate of or the hashing performance for each algorithm, because they're not all um, equal. Uh, your card will perform uh, differently on each algorithm that you want to mine. So you can work that out in a couple of different ways. So let me just uh, shift my chair over a little bit here. So one of the ways you can do it is uh, actually I created in my previous video uh, the nice hash miner. And one of the useful features that that has is a benchmarking tool. So what that can do is you can test your hardware and it will give you a nice breakdown of how your hardware performs on each algorithm. Um, and then we can use that information to work out our profitability. So I'll just show you how that works now. So I've got the nice hash miner. Um, I've already done the benchmarking, but if we select benchmark, um, what you would normally do is then uh, select standard benchmark, click start benchmark, and it will go through the benchmarking process, and it will give you a score. So at the top you can see my CPU. It's an Intel uh, i7-950. And then you've got the algorithm and the speed. And then further down, We've got the NVIDIA, so and once again we've got the algorithm and the actual speed hashing performance. Um, so I've got a GTX 970. So if you have the same card as me, this is practically going to be your uh, performance across all those different algorithms. Uh, the only exception to this is uh, Dagger Hashimoto, which is used for Ethereum mining. It says here that we're going to get 4.2 mega hashes. Um, I know for a fact, um, using different drivers, that I can actually get 20 mega hashes with this card. Um, but with uh, the current drivers installed, they're the ones that work with nice hash miner. So a little bit of extra complication there. So don't use these uh, figures as um, you know factual figures. They're more of like a baseline, or a rough estimate of what you're going to be getting. So that's one way to find out what your hashing performance is for each algorithm. Another way you can do it is by going to a website which is called um, Mining Hardware Comparison. So that's mininghwcomparison.com. Um, then if you click on either NVIDIA or AMD, whichever card you've got. So if I do GTX uh, 970, press enter, you can see that we've got lots of different manufacturers and the GTX 970s. And then we've also got the algorithm there as well. So depending on which coin you want to mine, um, just make a note of obviously the model and the algorithm and the actual speed there. So you can see for Ethereum, people are getting between um, 18 up to 22, 17. So I think you can also further refine as well if I do uh, Ethereum. I don't know if it works like that. Not quite. So you kind of have to break it down a little bit yourself. I think you can sort it. Oh yeah. So you can sort it there, so yeah, across the board you see how that works. So whatever graphics card you've got, type in the model, and then you'll be able to work out clock speeds, all that kind of other stuff. I don't want to go too um, into it, but it will give you a ballpark figure um, for the actual hashing speed that you can expect. So now you've got the hashing speed for your actual hardware. So the next thing you need to know is how much electricity uh, your hardware is going to be using. So what you can do is, if you just do like a Google search, uh, just type in your actual graphics card, and then do um, specs or specification, and what you want to find out is the thermal uh, design power. That's an actual uh, manufacturer's reference to how much electricity the actual card is gonna be using. So pretty much all manufacturers put that information out, and what it can do is it will give you a reference point to know exactly how much uh, energy your graphics card will use. So for the GTX 970, um, on the official NVIDIA website, it tells us that the card should use 145 watts. Um, in reality, it uses a little bit more than that, but that's a pretty good figure. So now we have an actual um, power usage for our graphics card, and we also have a hash rate. So now we can take this information, 
uh, and put it into these uh, couple of different websites. So I'll share them, uh, my personal favorites. Um, we can put that information into these websites and we can work out our hashing performance. Okay, so the first website that we're going to look at is called uh, Coin Wars. So this website's been going quite a long time. I think I've been using them for about two years. So you've got this kind of this main um, area here, this lot, we'll try and select that. And then basically you've got each different uh, algorithm and then you've got a box to input your actual hashing speed. Um, you can enter your uh, power usage and you can also enter your electricity costs. So I'll just show you a few of these. You've got SHA-256, which is used for Bitcoin. We're going to exclude that because it's um, ASIC miners can only mine that. Same for script, um, but the other ones we can uh, use. So I'll just start the bot right hand corner here because that's already selected. So it's selected for ETH, which is used for Ethereum and Expanse and a few others. Uh, we know our hash rate is about 20 mega hashes per second and the power usage, um, you can do it either two different ways. You can either enter the actual power usage on a card basis or what I prefer to do is actually um, on a system basis. So you'll probably find that your actual PC, if it's just got a single graphics card, um, you're going to be using about 150, 250 watts for your graphics card um, plus probably about another 100 for the actual system itself. So in this case, I'm just going to put in a ballpark figure of 250 watts. So that's going to cover me for my actual graphics card and also the system itself. Um, under that, we've got an actual cost for the electricity. Um, I'm actually in the UK. Um, electricity tends to be a little bit more expensive, but I'll just leave that as it is just for simplicity. So there it costs 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So if you're not too sure what that figure is, um, just check on your electricity bill and you'll be able to find out exactly how much you are paying for electricity which is actually super important if you're going to be doing um, any crypto mining. So then uh, let's just have a look, we'll just add in one of the uh, other algorithms. We've got NeoScript here, so it is 0.59, uh, so it's actually 595 uh, kilo hashes. Um, same power usage roughly. With each algorithm the power usage will go up or down, so you'll probably want to just buy like a um, a power usage monitor is the best way to work out exactly what you're using um, over time. Um, that's in one of my other videos, so go and check that out. Uh, let's just pick up one other algorithm just for fun. Let's go with uh, what else we got? Let's go uh, Quark. So that is uh, sixteen thousand one ninety. Just make sure that you're obviously entering the correct uh, information. Um, one mega hash is 1,000 kilo hashes. So obviously just make sure you put in the right information um, in the boxes. Otherwise you'll think you're gonna be making a ton of money when actually uh, you won't. So just be careful on your digits. Right, so we've got Quark, we've got NeoScript, and we've got eTash. So now let's uh, calculate the uh, profitability and see which coin it thinks is the most profitable. Okay, so at the top of the list is Ethereum, which is no surprise because um, I have been mining it for quite some time and um, I already knew that that was the most profitable coin um, at the moment. Um, it's caused by a lot of factors, basically the, it's a basis of the actual exchange rate of the coin, also the difficulty is a big determining factor as well as. so. What it tells you is on the top line you've got revenue and then you've got your profit and then you've got your electricity costs. So with this particular hardware that I've got here, the GTX 970 and the rig overall, um, we should be making $1.46 per day in revenue and the profit, which is our retained amount after electricity costs. Sorry, I had to think about that one for a second. Of course it is you know, profit, but wanted to try and word it accurately. So yeah, 0.86 cents per day is that actual profit amount. So you can see that Ethereum is the top uh, earners there. Um, you've also got like the exchange rate of time and difficulty over time as well. Um, what you can find is that if a uh, coin becomes really popular, a lot of people jump on the bandwagon. It can start off quite profitable at first, but then the difficulty starts getting higher and higher. And then quite quickly you'll either get to this like equilibrium point or you'll start losing money as anyway you'll be mining but you just won't be earning as much money 
So going further down the list, it's another ETH coin, which is a Ethereum Classic. Uh, then down from there, you've got uh, Feather coin, and then it goes down from there. Um, it always includes Bitcoin as like a default kind of reference, so, but just ignore it because you're not mining Bitcoin with your graphics card. Um, and then you've got further down, you've got like the quiet coins and stuff like that. And you can see like, further down um, with our hardware, to mine those is basically a loss. So it actually costs you more in electricity than you're getting back in, in revenue. So that's how that works. Um, I'll just show you one other site as well. Uh, the next site is called What to Mine. It's basically uh, very much the same, but it supports if you do different other coins, and it's always good to get a different perspective on, on your data. So this one is called What to Mine. Um, it's another one that I've used. Um, I don't use this one um, quite as much. Uh, really because uh, the Coin Wars one was kind of like first to, to provide such a service and I've kind of used them since. So uh, pretty much exactly the same sort of setup. So you just um, turn kind of on and off which ones you want. Um, I'm just going to start by turning them uh, all off. I'm pretty sure there's a button to do that. Um, then what we want is we went Neo script before, Itash and Quark. So um, Neo script was 595 Itash Ethereum 20 250 make sure the watch is the same like, although like I said it will go up and down depending on the actual uh, usage and uh, Quark 16.190 uh, I'll put the same power usage in there as well um, now if we actually uh, calculate it, um, sorry we've also got the actual electricity cost there as well, um, same as with the Coin Wars website, 0 0.1 or 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Let me just hit calculate. Okay, so this has actually brought back a slightly different result. Um, according to uh, what to mine, it thinks uh, Fevercoin, which is a NeoScript algorithm, it thinks that's actually more profitable. So uh, it thinks the revenue is going to be a uh, dollar forty-seven, and the actual profit is going to be eighty-seven cents. And um, second, you've got uh, one point four five revenue and eighty-five cents for Ethereum. Um, it also includes expense there as well and a few others. So it looks kind of very similar. Um, just going back to let's just see what uh, Coin Wars said for Feather Coin. So. Coin Wars are reported $1.28 in revenue, um, and this is reporting $1.427. Uh, the reason for that is uh, due to exchange rate uh, fluctuations. I don't know exactly which um, exchanges Coin Wars use, but um, with what to mine, you can sort of pick and choose exactly which exchanges you want to use. So that might be useful if you have a particular preference to uh, a major exchange. It will just allow you to kind of um, exchange your coins quickly and easily and uh, most profitably. So you can see on this that there's not very, very much difference um, overall there, but you can kind of see exactly how you can determine uh, which coins are the most profitable to, to mine. Um, and then from that point, you can obviously mine your coins. Uh, they go to your pool or directly to your wallet. And then from your wallet, you can send them to an exchange and sell them for Bitcoin. And hopefully you're going to be doing that probably on a um, a regular basis uh, and from that point you can obviously get the best profits from your hardware so that's about it for this video thank you very much for watching hopefully you found this useful and you've enjoyed watching um, as always if you have any questions or comments uh, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comments area below um, I'll put a link to each one of the websites uh, in the description so you can easily find those and thanks again for watching take care bye bye